Welcome back to NSDC Gaming. My name is Senior Asside, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Uh, we just got finished raiding the um, the pharmacy that we started off in the beginning of the game, mostly. Uh, we let a girl die. Guy. Let a girl die? Yeah, okay. We let a girl die. Woo! And then we also let Kenny and whatever face fight some more. Pretty much an episode. So, uh, now we're just walking around, and uh, Carly wants my D. That's pretty much the main part of the story so far is Ken's gonna get some D, Ken's gonna get some D. Good to know, good to know. Talk to Kenny. Kenny! Hey you two, how are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys trust everyone here? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. I understand that, I guess. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna let him walk. He's walking for days, he's walking for days. Well, I would walk 500 miles and I would talk to Carly now. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. What? What? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be mm -hmm. and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what will happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Well, I asked getting waterboard. Oh, 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 oh. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time. There are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. See? I like Carly. I like Carly because she's... I think she's a... From over the past three episodes, and you really haven't heard much stupid shit come out of her mouth besides the obvious battery thing that I think I... She's a fucking idiot! You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? <laughs> That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Stumpy ones. Stumpy ones! 
That was a lifetime ago, guys. That was a lifetime ago. We're just gonna leave that one go. Let's go talk to Lily. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? A little bit of both. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. You haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma. And you're not taking care of yourself. I think it's actually Kenny. Good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. I think it was Kenny. What's trying to get shit ready to go for in the bus, or not the bus, but the RV. I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Really? Really? Uh, Blame the black guy for stealing? Jesus, duck. Jesus jumped up, Christ duck. I'm sorry. I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? That was the blackest what thing I've heard Lee say. You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. So now you're a dick duck. That's Robin. Or duck dick, oh, whatever the fuck you are. You can I'll let you play along. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Let's go talk to Clementine. Fuck off, kid. Alright, let's go talk to Clementine. Wherever the hell she is. I think she's over this way. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Never playing fucking Nancy Drew? Oh my god. Can you pick one theme and stick with it? I'm pretty sure zombies are your main concern in this fucking game. Why do I have to fucking walk around like Nancy goddamn fucking Drew and do shit? And you, you squirrely butthole. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. You're a terrible investigator, Lee. Go talk to Clementine, where the fuck she is. Or look at the broken glass, whatever. think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Oh, Jesus. There's Clementine. Jesus. No, no you dick. I wanna go talk to Clementine, wherever the fuck she is. 
Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Go fuck off somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Where the fuck is this kid? You just looked at her. Not even gonna let me talk to her. You're not gonna let me even see her. You're not gonna let me do anything. No? No? Seriously? Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Where the fuck is she? Ah, there she is. Chill behind shit. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> Fuck off, Duck. Stop talking. Seriously? 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 You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, mom and dad won't let me touch him. He left the Duck hanging. That's probably for the best. I was gonna give Duck a high five, I just. He's a dick. I don't like him. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. The fuck? Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. <laughs> it wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What, what the fuck? No. Killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight there. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Were you touching kids' pickles, Lee? Were you stroking their buttholes? Were you doing things that were undeniably dirty? I see how it is. Okay, talk to Kaja. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you uh, knew I was a convicted fella. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well... well. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife... Uh, That's enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Sure. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? Salt Lake. Smashed his head in. Salt Lake. <gasps> oh! Oh, shit! Gotcha. If 
everything keeps changing. You're in the zombie apocalypse. People change. Jesus. I'm leaving off here because we're at 15 minutes. I think this is a good place. What'd that say? Kaju won't remember that. Okay, fine. That's fantastic for her. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, The Walking Dead. It, nah, I can't say character building because it really isn't. It's more along the lines of just progressing with the chapter. When there's character building, I'll let you know. Like with Carly, as I said, that's good character building. The battery thing, that hurts me. But other than that, that's character building. Um, so yeah, my name is Senior Asset, signing off from NSDC Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Walking Dead. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And I will see you guys on the next episode of The Walking Dead. See you guys later.